Land navigation is a crucial skill needed to be successful throughout your time as a soldier. Your ability to perform this skill will be put to the test from your home station to combat training centers to overseas deployments and will be a major deciding factor for mission success throughout your Army career. This trainer is designed to fill the gap between classroom instruction and an actual land navigation course. The trainer focuses on correct plotting of points, establishing a plan for completing the course, attack points, calculation of distance and direction, correct use of pace count, and pace beads. On the Land Nav introduction screen, enter your name. Enter your 100 meter walking pace count if you know it. If you don't know it, leave it as the default 65, which is the average pace count for a 6 foot tall male. Select your gender. Select your difficulty level, either beginner or experienced. The beginner course always uses the same points, 3 to 400 meters from each other in relatively open terrain. These points are also green instead of orange. This is the primary interface for the land navigation trainer. In the lower left corner is an editable notebook for entering information during this course. Above that are your pace beads and the number of paces that you have walked. Your name is displayed at the top to assist the instructor, if present, in locating students. Several shortcuts are listed in the box to the right of your name. The eight points that have been assigned to you for this daytime land navigation course are in the upper right corner. Use your middle mouse scroll wheel to bring up the action menu and then click the middle mouse button to open the land navigation menu. While in menu mode, you can enter information on the notepad. Click show map to open up the map and protractor. Map view includes movable protractor, list of known points with movable flags, and movable flags for each of your assigned points. Use the compass to orient yourself in the direction you calculated. Before you start walking, use the menu to select Start Pace Count. Once you reach your 100 meter pace count, you will need to increment your pace beads and reset your count. Pushing the J key will add one bead and reset the pace count. Pushing the K key will subtract one bead and reset the pace count. Once you reach a point, use the menu to select at which of your assigned points you believe you have arrived. The checklist will indicate that you have identified that point. Selecting Move to Point allows you to save training time by teleporting directly to any of the known points. If you reach the end of your pace count, you can drop a reflective belt as a marker and start point for your search. As you move away from the belt, the option to pick up the belt turns gray until you get close enough again to pick it up. Once you have identified all of your assigned points, you can teleport back to the start point to receive your score. The checklist will show which points you got correct or incorrect. The instructor now has the choice to select several options for the land nav training course. Three to eight points can be assigned to the students. Time of day can be day or night. The weather can be cloudy, sunny, or raining. Night vision can be available. Lastly, the GM angle can be turned on or off. If set to no, the GM angle for that course is zero. The instructor station is designed for a computer lab type of environment where the students' computers are networked. The instructor can monitor the progress of the students and intervene in cases where remedial training is necessary. Each student is listed with their display name showing. Then the station shows how many points each student has identified, how many points they have gotten correct, and how many total points each student was assigned. Nearest point shows the closest assigned point to that student at that time. It is a best guess as to which point the student is currently headed to. Distance to point shows how far the student is away from that nearest point. 
If this number is green, the student is getting closer to the point. If red, the student is getting further away. If the student is stationary, the time stationary counter will start. Once that counter reaches five minutes, it will turn red. There is now page up and page down functionality in the student table to show more than the original 27 students. The table can be sorted by student number, student name, points identified, points correct, and time stationary. The newly added measurement tool allows the instructor to assist students by verifying their calculations or by calculating a new distance and direction from the student's current position to the point they are trying to reach. The notifications timeline will show any significant student activity including teleporting, correctly identifying a point, incorrectly identifying a point, dropping their reflective belt, and when they are stationary for five minutes. Zoom and move have been added to the instructor station map. To zoom, click the plus and minus button to increase or decrease by 20%. It will zoom to a maximum of 400%. To move the map, click anywhere on the map and drag to reposition it. Selecting the in scenario button will stop the elapsed time counter and display the grading sheet on all the student stations. This will also export the student scores and notification timeline to CSV documents easily readable by spreadsheet programs like Excel. This trainer will allow students to practice and greatly improve their land navigation skills, leading to success in the field and success in the Army.